An accidental discovery could revolutionize the battery and change how we power our world. Our preferred battery technology, lithium-ion, has some serious drawbacks. This is EV Comet, where we talk about the latest news and the EV industry's exciting developments. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. If you are new here and like our content, please subscribe and like our videos. It encourages us to make more. Now and then, revolutionary technology seems to arrive out of nowhere and transform our reality. Examples of such groundbreaking accidental discoveries include dynamite, penicillin, x-ray equipment, and even microwaves. We might have had another one this year, then. But this time, by unlocking an elusive technology called lithium sulfur batteries, it has the potential to revolutionize the way we live and save our planet from impending climate change. For decades, we have been looking for the greatest technology to support our contemporary way of life and enable clean technologies like electric vehicles. The preferred battery technology since the early 1990s has been lithium-ion. It powers everything from phones and Teslas to backup energy grid infrastructure and even satellites. They have some very serious drawbacks even though they have propelled us into the 21st century. First, mining the elements required to make them, such as cobalt, is often exceedingly harmful to the environment. They even leach forth harmful substances and devastate large ecosystems. In actuality, there is also a humanitarian issue because some of these mines exploit child labor and have dangerous working conditions. The life cycle issue is the next. We expect our smartphones to charge more quickly. Everything from phones to cars falls under this category. But lithium-ion batteries can quickly lose capacity if you regularly charge them quickly, as anyone with a smartphone will attest to. Battery deterioration is a major concern, especially for the EV industry. If the battery is worn out, a used EV may occasionally be worthless and extremely expensive to replace. Overall, this is holding down the adoption of EVs and will only worsen the already serious issue of electrical waste. The issue of density is also present. Lithium-ion packs are heavy, big, and unwieldy despite being very energy-dense. Because of their weight, batteries are not practical for various uses, such as commercial electric planes and ships. This reduces the range of electric cars. Lithium-ion batteries also have a fire risk since a damaged cell may catch fire and burn ferociously. For this reason, researchers at Drexel University were studying a novel kind of battery called a lithium-sulfur battery. Lithium sulfur first appears to be the answer to all of the lithium issues. It can be produced for less money with less environmentally dangerous materials used with up to three times greater energy density, which translates to a lighter battery, and is much less prone to catch fire. All of this without affecting charge rates. What, then, is the catch? Why don't we have them already? They do, however, have a serious issue. Lithium sulfur batteries are often only capable of handling around half as many charge cycles as lithium ion batteries. In other words, a lithium sulfur battery is essentially dead after a year or two of proper use. Batteries made of lithium sulfur have the potential to be up to three times more energy dense and cost less to create than lithium ion batteries. The Drexel team was experimenting with new lithium sulfur methods to address this problem by altering the battery's cathode's chemicals. They wanted to slow down the chemical reaction that occurs when the battery charges and discharges, which produces polysulfides. These crystals effectively remove sulfur from the electrode, which leads to a drastic reduction in capacity. These extremely energy-dense batteries might live longer if they are slowed down. But what they discovered was amazing. A sulfur chemical phase that essentially halts battery deterioration. This revelation stunned them so much that they had to double-check everything to ensure they didn't misinterpret it. Monoclinic gamma phase sulfur is the name of this chemical phase, which has only ever been seen in the lab at temperatures above 95 degrees Celsius, that is 203 degrees Fahrenheit. It has never been observed at room temperature before. This stage totally halts the reaction that generates polysulfides inside the battery. Thanks to this technique, the battery was put through 4,000 charge cycles without losing capacity, which means it lasts at least twice as long as lithium ion. It's also important to note that their battery could charge just as quickly and had three times the energy density of lithium-ion. These batteries will weigh less than half as much as comparable lithium-ion batteries and last twice as long. To suggest that this discovery is astounding would be a vast understatement. 
but there are additional advantages to this new sulfur phase, such as decreased battery expansion and higher safety margins. In other words, this battery possesses all the characteristics of the ideal mass market battery, and these researchers only discovered it by chance. The scientists still need to work out what is truly happening, like with most accidental discoveries. They still need to understand why or how to maintain this particular sulfur phase. More study is required to find the answers to these concerns to create a dependable battery that can be used in billions of computers, electric vehicles, and similar devices. But the wait will be worthwhile because these batteries weigh only a third as much and last twice as long as identical lithium-ion batteries. The technology will allow short-haul airplanes, cargo ships, and passenger ferries to switch to all-electric operation. This indicates that faster, more effective EVs with thousands of miles of range will be economically feasible at prices comparable to today's EVs. Additionally, they would still be helpful in 10 years, significantly decreasing waste and speeding up the adoption of electric vehicles. Furthermore, technology will exist to enable electric short-haul aircraft, cargo ships, and passenger ferries. These industries will finally be able to meet their low-carbon objectives because of the weight-saving, long lifespan, and affordable price. Lithium sulfur batteries might make it possible for a wide range of activities to switch to electricity, making net zero emissions much more realistic. Amazingly, it gets better still. Plenty of lithium, sulfur, and other materials on Earth go into making this new battery. As a result, we can dramatically reduce the environmental impact of mining and provide a more reliable supply chain. The discovery, however, is still ongoing. The Drexel team is already considering exploiting this innovation to create sodium sulfur batteries. By doing so, they may make batteries even more environmentally friendly and eliminate a major supply chain barrier, ensuring that EV adoption can proceed at the lightning-quick rates that automakers aim for. This accidental discovery by the Drexel team is set to revolutionize the world's electricity usage and assist humanity in transitioning to a cleaner, carbon-neutral civilization. Let's hope the Drexel team can bring this technology out of the lab and into our hands as soon as possible. We'd be delighted to hear from you. If you liked this video, hit the like button and send us your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.